What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. So I want to get into attacking your fears. When you have fears, you got to go towards it. Will Smith said every time he have a fear in life, he goes towards that fear. For his birthday, I think it was his birthday, he actually jumped out of a helicopter. <laughs> yes, a helicopter. And he said he was fearful of the helicopter and jumping out of it. So he decided to go towards that because he hate being scared of things. But I feel like everyone should actually put that as a tool into their life because so many things that we're scared of, we run away from. Behind that fear is actually greatness, the things that unlock your full potential and your abilities to be great. And when I realized that, I started doing the same thing. So if I fear something like, man, I want to open this business, but I don't know what's going to happen if I do it. My risk tolerance is super high because I understand that model. It's not going to hurt you. Right. And what don't kill you, make you better, because if it doesn't hurt you, it might be a temporary defeat, but it's for the long term. Nipsey Hussle said it's a marathon, not a sprint. And it's the same thing right behind that fear that you're running from that business. You are scared to start that job. You're scared to go for it. that position. You're scared to climb up to. You have to actually double down on everything that you know that you're scared of and go straight towards it. Figure out how to be uncomfortable. Double down on that. Matter of fact, triple down on that. Figure that out. I'm scared of this. All right, cool. Since I'm scared of it, I shouldn't have been scared of it. Now it's time to attack. And I would do that with everything in life. Everything. Because once you get past that, then you're able to see greatness. So many times I hear people say, man, I thought of this idea a month later. It's still an idea. A week later, still idea. A day later, no action. Five years, 10 years, still an idea. And the reason why you're not jumping on it is because you're scared of what people think. You're fearful of that. You're fearful what your friends would think, what your family would think, what your parents would think. But I'm here to tell you, and this is an absolute guarantee, when you make yourself uncomfortable and you do things that you don't want to do that you know is good for you, and you push yourself to the max to go and accomplish the things that you know is supposed to be yours, you know that dream and that goal that you have in your mind is something that you can accomplish, but you're holding yourself back. And when you hold yourself back, nobody gets to experience this, you know, 2.0 of yourself. The next level. I don't know if anybody watched Dragon Ball Z, but Super Saiyan. Unlocking everything in your power to get what you need done in life it don't matter if it's learning a new language it doesn't matter if it's going to the gym it doesn't matter if it's starting that idea that business that you have for so long that you've been scared to take a jump on you have to do it and you have to believe because it's one thing to decide to go but if you decide to go you have to believe mentally, prepare yourself like, listen, this is me. I deserve this. This is what I was destined to be and understand this is all possible. Because once you say this is possible, then that's the first step. Second step is action. But you have to believe. And it don't matter where you live at in the world. You can live in a basement. You can live in a cardboard box. You can live on skit road. I don't know if you've ever been in Los Angeles, but it's a, a row full of tents. All the bums and homeless people live there. And happy as can be. But you can be the happy bum or you can be the happy successful person that's providing for their kids, 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 and creating a foundation and a legacy to build wealth. 
nothing comes behind playing the victim. If you're the victim and it's everybody's fault why you're not successful, you'll never be successful. If you're always pointing the finger, who fault it is? Why you not where you were supposed to be? Who fault it is? No, it's because my dad did this when I was younger. It's because I don't have any money. It's because I don't have the abilities to do that. But 90% of everything I know is from books, podcasts, online programs, seminars, books, everything. It's from self-development, self-learning. Whatever you can't figure out, in a book, and a podcast, you can find on Google or YouTube. And if you can't find it on Google and YouTube, you can buy a program or purchase an online course and go learn from somebody who already is, have done the things that you want to do. First step, overcoming the fear and believing. Second step, action. Third step, equipping yourself with all the tools you need to become successful. If you're a police officer, you do not go to work without your gun, without your badge, without your handcuffs, without your car, without your taser. These are all things you need to be a police officer on duty, ready to go to work. It's the same thing in business. It's the same thing with your goals. It's the same thing with being successful in life. You need all those tools to do your job correctly. Learning, surrounding yourself around the right people, motivating yourself, creating rituals, morning rituals, night rituals, and signing a contract with yourself. Put everything on a list. What do you want to accomplish? One, two, three, four, five, however many it is. You have a year goal. You have three-year goal. You have five-year goals. You have short-term goals. And write down everything you're fearful of and figure out how to tap into that. Just like Will Smith did. Just like I do. Anything, I mean anything that I'm fearful of, I attack. And every time I did that, amazing things happen right behind it. Because you're going to fall down more times than you're ready to get up. But it's your job to get the hell up every single time. People are going to tell you no more than yes. You're going to fail more than you succeed. And these are all ways to learn and build character. But you have to believe in yourself to know once you get up, it's going to get better. To know when you go through things, it's for a reason. Not pointing the finger at who thought it is. That don't work. Take ownership. Come up with an action plan. Execute on it. Take action. Everything that you've been wishing and praying for, you can pray all you want. In order for God to answer those prayers, it needs to be action behind it. And that's some real shit. All right? So I want everybody, I mean everybody who's listening to this, to go Take action. And if you are an action taker and you do attack your fears, then I want you to send this podcast link to somebody who you feel like is procrastinating. Somebody who you feel like is pointing a finger at who's the reason why they're not where they want to be in life. Or send this podcast to somebody who you feel like is not tapping into their full potential. All right. Now, that was my message for the day, because I feel in my heart that it's a lot of people listening to this that's not taking action on their goals and their dreams and they're fearful of people and their thoughts and their other people's thoughts. But I'm here to tell you. It's all possible. 
Everybody who you see that's successful, they have the same 24 hours, but they have a different mindset. So go out, go crush it because I know you can do it because I did it and I'm no different than anybody watching this or listening to this. All right. So I'm signing off. Go do your homework. Take action. Tag me on Instagram. I am spectacular. And rate this podcast. Leave a review. Let me know your thoughts. Love you guys. I'm out. Peace. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Let's go.